can't see anything unusual. Right. And when you're looking in these cells, you, when you see those larvae, they want to be white. Right. Really nice white. If they're not white, what does that mean? Uh, they're unhealthy. It means they're unhealthy for right. some reason. And then that's when you start to look at your um, bee disease guide. Okay. Because you need to work out what's going on. And if you're not sure, you need to call the bee inspector. Right. Or, or your mentor or you know somebody. So this bee... You call Paul. A little bit interested in my hands. Well, the hive has been open for a while. Yeah, yeah. that won't um, that won't help matters. It also doesn't help matters that I've got black gloves on. Right. Because they don't like black. Oh, okay. Mm. Yes, I really said that. Yeah. I can wear I can wear white gloves, but the problem is before lockdown, I bought a thousand mm. black gloves. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that's kind of. Mm. Screen. Anything on there that you haven't seen before? Well, there's loads of honey there, isn't there? Yeah. Um, uh, look in that place just again. Oh, the green. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And maybe don't point at her. Oh, it's a oh rule of thumb that you don't point at queens. No way. Yeah, just in case somebody, like if Iris jogged you and, yeah. you, and you went. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. That wouldn't be very good for my first time, would no. it? So what do you notice about her? Wow, so she's got the green on top. Yeah, but she's that's very what long. I painted that on. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, wow. So, so yeah, she's very long. Yeah. And what she's part of her is long? She doesn't have a stinger, does she? Does she have a she stinger? She does, yeah. She does. So the... the, the, the it's like the arse. Her legs look the, longer. Yeah. Her, and her, yeah, the arse is back, longer. At the back of her, yeah. The, yeah. What's that called? It's not the or, thorax. The thorax. Yeah. So that's where all the um, family business goes on. Right. Uh, let's say. So she's got millions wow. of sperm in there. Right. And she's, and she's her ovaries are in there, and right. she's she's making those eggs. Right. And she's laying them. She's laying like a thousand a day or something. Wow. You know, loads of eggs. So she's she's an egg laying machine really. Wow. And she's fit and healthy. She looks good. So she... the other bees always protecting her. Uh, Essentially, or as long as she can make it's ruthless, so it? it's like a Shakespearean play, right. you know. The minute that they suspect that she's not strong enough, right, they'll be all over her. Will they kill her? They'll kill her, right, and they'll make a new queen, right. If she's if she's not if she's not fit and healthy and laying properly, mm. then she's uh, a danger for right. the whole colony, right. Because the only reason they can keep going is because she's um, laying fertilised eggs, mm. which are female eggs. Right. So these other girls, sh th these can lay eggs as well, but they can't fertilise them, so okay. they'll just be boys. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so you, and boys... They haven't got the pollen things. Mm -hmm. They haven't got the pollen sacs, so they can't make the pollen. They can't. They can't turn nectar from the trees into honey. Right. So they're not that useful. They're not that useful. They're, they've got one use, and that's uh, mating. Right. So their genes, right. their gene legacy, they can pass that on. And so they mate with the queen. They mate with virgin queens. Right. Yeah. So so those virgin queens go out when they're very young, when they're about. Uh, five days yeah. to a week old yeah. they'll go out on mating flights right. and they'll mate with maybe five uh, five males yeah. one one to five males right. or maybe more in some cases and then that that sperm will be stored in mm -hmm. her spermatheca and she'll be able to use that for her lifetime wow. and as soon as that starts running out she's in trouble because okay. she's no longer useful right how long does a bee typically, a, a queen bee typically live for? What does it vary? It, it, it will vary, yeah. Um, if she's, I mean, she might be a dud, she might not be able to mate, she might not be strong enough, she might not. The, the reason they're so calm as well is a lot to do with her because she's calm. She's, right. And she's laying. Right. Uh, they're healthy. Yeah. There's pollen coming in, there's thingy. Look at, you know, this pattern of brood is fantastic, yeah. you know. So 
in that sense they're going to be calm as well because they're not worried about uh, you know where the next meal's coming from yeah. they're not worried about um, beekeepers making things <laughs> making <laughs> force of themselves uh, yeah so we'll just leave her in there what I normally do I mean this is just what I do but uh, so I've got this safety pin so I saw her on this frame ah. I saw her on that side right so next week when I come I know that last time she was there so right. you've probably got loads of brood there right and they often hang out in the same frame because it's normally near the middle but it's just it's it's quite useful but also like right now for the rest of the inspection I know which I've got a good idea of where she is mm. so I can mm. sort of um mm. Will she move around onto all of the different frames at some point? At some point, yeah. yeah, probably. Um, although, you don't generally tend to get um, uh, eggs and larvae at the further edges. Right. Like, that will normally be stores. Yeah. And I think, in some ways, that's because... So here, typically, yeah, no eggs. Mm. No, he, he, I'm lying. There is oh, lots yes, of eggs at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. I see. Oh, yeah. But that's quite a typical oh. frame. Like l more heavy on the honey yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Can you see that on the? Should be. I can't quite see from here, but there should be eggs and larvae around there somewhere. Yeah, I can see that there. You got one there. Is that is it putting honey in there, oh, or is yeah. it just eating it? Who knows? Yeah. It's it's doing one or the other. Yeah. It's either having a good old drink, or it's um, or it's emptying its honey stomach into there. Do bees drink water as well? Yeah, they yeah. do. Yeah. Oh yes, because I was. Don't you stop? <laughs> I got uh, I got an email yesterday from uh, one of the clients saying there's a, the bees are hanging out on the, um, uh, the flue of the gas boiler is that where water comes out so there's condensation like yeah. sitting on the thing oh, so there's little right. little bits of water okay. just there and it looks like they're going in right. and out of the boiler yeah. flue or something oh, right. but actually they're just Drink. They're just sitting on the edge of it, yeah. having a drink, drink and then going off. Right. And it looks like there's lots of things, but yeah. actually they're just they're not going inside right. at all. But those like shady spots where there's some kind of water. So I can push that. So that's I mean that's another reassurance. I know that she's in this middle bit, so I'm not really worried about squashing her. Yeah. Especially if I keep them together like that, yeah. it's less of a uh, I guess what we could do, probably a good thing to do. So when I'm picking up the frames, yeah. I'm always sort of get an idea of the weight, how to turn them around. Yeah, they're quite. <laughs> right. Sometimes it's good to like you. You might need a third hand. Sometimes you can use this to. Lots more being made. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, fabulous. Uh, wow, they are uh, very active. Humble. Can you just like hold that so it doesn't slip off? Yeah. And I'll be as quick as I can.
Okay, so now we're back to summer summer mode. So that brood box will be down there for now. Right. So each time you do an inspection, you take these supers off yeah. to look in and right. check that those eggs are there. Right, okay. Uh, so you check at the bottom one with you now. Yeah. And you, one. you sort of don't you you sort of go in these and have a yeah. look. Uh, but it's not really the full inspection like it is down there oh, right. because it's just this oh, lovely, see, the lovely honey. Honey. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, Amazing. Isn't that brilliant? Because it's nearly like they know already. Incredible, isn't it? Definitely. Yeah. So. I mean, loads, yeah, so just in general, I don't really need to like go and look at every single yeah. frame because they're sort of we know that there's we know that there's honey in there. Oh, look at that. So, when would you like would you say harvest the honey? Harvest, Is that yeah. when would you harvest the honey? Uh, normally, September, uh, uh, maybe later, June. right? June? Or is it July? June or July? July, middle of July. Yeah, normally in London that's when you would do it. Yeah. The, the big crop is um, lime, lime trees actually. Right. Yeah, so that's the big thing in London. Oh, okay. Uh, Which we have loads of in the park. Do we? Here. Oh, I'm just going to have a look. In the orchard you. bit. Is it in the orchard bit, the lime mm. trees? They're very near the tennis courts. Oh, yes, okay. We're going to have a look. So I'm just going to leave that on there. Yeah. Because otherwise I'll just throw it away. It's just this candy, overwinter candy. Oh, wow. So there's so just going to. Le this is some left here. Yeah. It's like, um, uh, like a wedding cake. Right, like is fondant, it really the icing? Yeah. 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 It's just like sh sugar. Okay. Yeah. That's it. A great diet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'd be like to look like if I was eating wedding cakes every day. But, um... <laughs>